Good morning, Warriors. My name is Coach JB, and I have an emergency message for you. An emergency message for you. This is very, very important. Now, I've been doing these messages on Saturday, and I don't care if one person listens to this or a thousand people listen to this. This is a really, really important message, and I highly recommend you make it all the way through. My name is Coach JV. I am the top mindset and crypto coach in the world. What you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. Now, I'm going to say something right now that's going to either turn someone on or turn them off to either, either watch my channel, my podcast. I've said this many, many, many times. As I'm speaking right now, I'm speaking through pure source. This was not planned. This was not written out. I'm going to speak from my heart and I'm going to explain to you what I think is going to happen in society and where we are heading as a humanity, as a uh, as Earth. And we've never been in a situation like this in our timeline, though this has happened in history. History does not repeat itself. It often rhymes. What we're experiencing right now is human behavior and human design. So I'm going to take you through a journey and I'm going to share with you what I'm doing financially to help protect my family, to protect our wealth, to grow our wealth to a high vibrational level so that we can flow into other people. So one of the first things I want to share with you guys is the system is built to get you to argue with each other. I want you to think about some of the greatest leaders of all time, some of the greatest leaders of all time. And so I like to share with you facts, figures, numbers, logic, so you can relate to this. Now, one of the biggest things for me is I believe all religions are right because what you believe is your truth. But I want you to think about this. Would you agree that one of the biggest topics right now is the V, right? Also the C. As you look this way to pandemic, there's a whole nother narrative going on this way. And we're arguing about left and right. It is a topic that gets exploded on social media, right? People get millions and millions of followers from it. And there's a constant battle in between left, right, religion, the V, the no V, the anti V, the, the, the pro V, right? Do you realize that this is all by design? And I want you to think about this for just a moment. When I see a Christian going on their social media page and arguing about left or right, anti V or pro V, I ask the question to myself. I don't come after them. I just say, listen, Jesus. Jesus didn't pick sides. Interesting. The very person you praise and the very person that's on the cross that you put into your churches, hmm, he wouldn't be picking pro-V, anti-V, left, right, up, down. He didn't even pick a religion. What he did was he worked to increase his internal vibration so high, so high that the out of alignment people killed him. And then when he came back three days later, only the people who were operating on a really high vibrational Christ conscious level could see Jesus. So a lot of people that are going out there and arguing the left, the right, the up, the down, and I'm going to share with you why this is by design and what's happening right now. Now you can take this message and just throw it out, but people are going to come back to this video 10 to 15 years from now and say, holy shit, this guy was right. This is what's happening, warriors. The best way to kill a human being is to stop them from creating. And how do you get a human being to stop creating? You lower their vibrational level so they don't believe in themselves. You lower their vibrational level so low that they don't know how to take care of themselves. You lower their vibrational level so low that they think that they need a government or a president or a mayor or a teacher or a mentor to solve their problem for them. You lower the vibrational level so low that you make them think that they don't have the ability to think when you actually were given free will. So again, I'll say history doesn't repeat itself. It often rhymes. And so by being humans, we're innately flawed. And that was a message of Jesus saying, hey, you're flawed. It's OK. But what I want you to see is that you can rise up into Christ's consciousness and you can make great decisions. And you can live heaven on earth. So let me ask you a question. The person on the other side of this watching this, are you a different human being than me? OK, are you a different person? Are you a different from a different planet? We're both humans, right? We have the same uh, temperature, right? 
we're built and structured the same, not physically. I'm talking how our anatomy and bodies are built. If you're a man or woman, right? Some people are different. And there's different genders and things like that. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is we are both humans, right? So how is it possible or why is it possible that you're different because you believe a different religion or you're different because you're in Bitcoin and I'm in Ethereum, right? And so I want to let you know very clearly, if you're making it this far, that you are someone who's going to shift your generation. Because once you realize that there is no enemy, once you realize that you created this, once you realize that you're just a culmination of your thoughts, actions, and behaviors up to this point in time, when you're an adult, then you'll realize that you actually have free will to be as rich as you want, as wealthy as you want, spiritually and mentally, and you can have whatever you want. So this has been by design to dumb us down so low that we can't think for ourselves. And we're chasing this pump. We're chasing this dump. We're chasing the next stock market pump. We're chasing the next house. We're chasing the next car. We're looking at the next rap video to see what the next close is instead of creating our own ecosystem within ourselves. So what I believe the world is trying to do right now is it's trying to awaken into a new oneness. It's trying to come back to the oneness because if we, we started somewhere, right? We started somewhere, correct? We started with a thought. Everything started with a thought. And so what you're experiencing right now, if you're sad, you're depressed, you're scared, you think the world's going to end every single day. Well, guess what? You're going to continue to attract that exact thing. So the best way to free yourself, warriors, is to take care of yourself. The best way to free yourself is to stop worrying about left, stop worrying about right, and become the president and CEO of your life. Because warriors, nobody's coming to save you. Nobody's coming to save you. There's nobody coming down on a white horse to pull the Christians up. and to, to that's, that's not happening, warriors. That's not happening. What is happening, though, there is a definite separation from people who are awakening and people who are asleep, the sheeple. There's definitely that. So is it metaphysical in the Bible or would it be metaphysical or allegory? Yes, there's absolutely something happening, whether you're a religion, whether you're spiritual, whether you're a devil worshiper, whether no matter what you believe. I think we can all agree that the last year has been an awakening process to the dark or to the light. And so, Warriors, you have an opportunity right now. And let me share with you what I'm doing financially. And we're going to continue to bring this education to you guys, whether one person watches or 10,000 people watch. And I know this isn't exciting. This isn't XRP is going to go to 589 or Ethereum is going to go to $10,000. All that shit's going to happen, Warriors. But you're never going to become wealthy unless you change this stuff. Because there's always going to be an argument. Bitcoin's better. Ethereum's better. Uh, Catholics are better. Mormons are better. A Jehovah Witness is better. They're all great. Everything is great, Warriors. If you believe it's great, everything is bad. If you believe it's bad, whereas you've been bred into a system to pick sides, the, the 49ers are better than the Raiders. The, this, you go on and on and on and on. We can pick all kinds of things and it's by design words. It's designed to get you to think this way, to be confused when there's a whole nother narrative going on this way. It's nothing new under the sun. This happens over and over. It's called humans. We're humans. And once our ego kicks in, it edges good out. And people think at the top of the house that there's a lack of resources. And so they want to hoard all the money, the 1%. And they're scared. They're holding on to it. Look at them. Just look at them. Go look at the 1%. They look unhealthy. They look sick. They look sad. They look droopy. I mean, you look at Mark Zuckerberg, how much he's changed. You look at these people who are these people who have all this wealth. They don't look healthy warriors. They're not. Because they're in a scarcity mindset. They're holding on to it, Warriors. And when you start to release and become fluid like water, and you understand that you are the change, that you are the vibration, you are the energy field, and wherever you're operating at is going to meet you at that direct level. So if you're broke, it's your fault. If you're sick, it's your fault. If you gain weight, it's your fault. If you're in a horrible relationship, it's your fault. And when you start to take responsibility for everything in your life, you don't have to worry about left. You don't have to worry about right. You don't have to worry about if somebody attacks you for your religion because you believe in it. If you believe in it, then it's true for you. And the question you have to ask yourself, if you believe in what you're following right now, then why are you depressed? Why are you sad? Why are you broke? Two things. 
either your belief system you're following doesn't work or you're not following the belief system. And I believe that if you're going to a church, whether it's Mormon, Catholic, Jehovah Witness, or you're non-denominational like me and you love God, if you're truly following that, then you're going to have a good life because there's a lot of great principles within all of those, right? Because they're not telling you to go out. Well, some religions do, but let's take that out, right? But they're not telling you to go out and be a shitty person. Usually churches and religions are about family structure, right? And, you know, some churches actually go knock door to door because they're so faithful and passionate about their religion. There's nothing wrong with that. It's good to be passionate. It's good to believe in something. What's not good is telling me that your religion is better than mine. That's not good. That's going to actually create a lower vibration within you, and you're going to get what you get. We are one warrior. We are one consciousness having a human experience. We are a reflection of each other. What you don't like in me and why you're irritated right now, whether you're watching this like a train wreck or a car crash, thinking I'm the craziest dude on earth, or if you're aligning with me, I'm just a reflection of you and what you need to work on in yourself. And everything's your fault. Everybody gets so mad when I say that. The reason why I'm succeeding and the reason why I have a free life and the reason why I have passive income and I'm helping other people become free is because, warriors, I don't give a shit what you do. I love you, but I don't care what you do. You don't help me make my decisions. I don't follow you. I don't watch you for, for ideas and thoughts. I become myself. I became myself, my true innate self. And I help as many people as possible on a daily basis. And the people who are around me are true, loving, vibrational beings. And that's it. And then everything else falls into place. If you come into my timeline, we're together. If you don't fall into my timeline, we're not together. I don't grab onto these worldly things or attachments or is the, it's, it's, it's an emergency right now. It's an emergency. And why is it an emergency? Not to scare you because you have an opportunity right now to get out of this just over broke paradigm. The world is shifting. The way you work is shifting. The way you do relationships is shifting. The way you communicate with your kids is shifting. Something is changing. And a lot of us are going through a great awakening to, to a, I feel like I'm living heaven on earth. It's wild. And a lot of people are getting darker and more depressed because there is an awakening happening. The world is trying to bring us back to oneness. And just like the, the, the caterpillar trying to become the butterfly, what happens? It goes through a violent process to become the butterfly. We're going back into the butterfly, right? It, the, the apple seed takes 10 years to bear fruit. And what does it have to do to break through the ground? It has to go through a violent process to break through the ground. Where, so it's time to wake up. You will never be wealthy until you change this, until you stop blaming everybody for your problems, whereas you will never be wealthy. You will get rich in the crypto space absolutely if you time everything correctly. And we teach that stuff in our Warrior Academy. We show my portfolio. We have tons of crypto calls because that's what people want. They want money. They think that the money is going to save them. It's not going to save you. There is no savior coming to save you, Warriors. God says, pray with the sermon as if it already exists. Gave you all the tools and resources within your body. And some people have different different uh, physical attributes. But like, for example, there's a motivational speaker. God, I wish I knew his, I remember his name. Somebody comment down below. He has no arms and no legs, and he's crushing it as a motivational speaker. Think about that. That's a shit that motivates me. He's crushing it as a motivational speaker. No arms, no legs, is a bodybuilder driving the cars of his dream and is, is wealthy. It's all here, warriors. He has free will. He had he could be a victim. He could sit there with his, you know, his, his body with no arms and no legs and boo-hoo me the rest of his life. But he decided to make a decision to be greatest of all time within this paradigm. And you are the greatest of all time. I am the greatest of all time. I have different fingerprint, different DNA than you, and I should be the greatest of all time within my timeline. And what happens is the greats, all the greats that we talk about that have uh, beat the test of time and history over and over again, none of them pick sides. Martin Luther King did not pick sides. Do you read about him in the history books? He was saying, we are all one, come together. Jesus did not pick sides. We're all one, come together. So why are you praising and putting someone on a cross in your church when you're saying that another religion is not right or you're saying left is not right or right is not right? Nobody would pick sides. Jesus wouldn't pick sides. So why don't we all stop picking sides and come together as one consciousness and get our shit together? That's what we should be doing right now, getting our shit together. It's that simple, words. That's why I say it every day, Geist. Get your shit together. Don't worry about what your neighbor's doing. Let them get their shit together. Don't gossip about what Bobby or Susie's doing at the dance studio. Get your shit together. Stop worrying about my crypto portfolio and get your shit together. Men, it's time to rise up. Women, it's time to rise. That's what Warriors Rise is all about. It's about speaking our truth. This is my truth. And if it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. I want you to find your truth. That's all I'm here to do, Warriors. That's all I'm here to do. 
And it's unfortunate that on YouTube, we have to do click baby things. We have to do click baby things to get you to watch this stuff because guess what? You want to see Takashi 69. You want to see his crazy hair and, and acting all crazy. You want to see people smoking 4,200 milligrams of THC because that excites you. And I'll tell you what, I, I watch other YouTubers just to kind of see what's going on every once in a while. I'm like, what the fuck is going on in our world? Takashi, say, I mean, these freaking vibrational lights and all this stuff, low vibration. And our kids are watching that, Warriors. The Watt video, billions of views. This will get like a thousand views because this is truth, Warriors. This is truth. I'm not saying any of that's wrong. That's your choice. If it raises your vibration and it makes you a good human being, then do it. What I'm asking you, Warriors, is why are you still broke right now? Why are you still sick right now? Because you're following a system that makes you think you have to pick. You are the answer warriors. I believe in God. I follow the life of Jesus as close as possible. I'm definitely not a perfect human being, but I got my shit together warriors and we're helping people get their shit together. And I'll tell you the truth about something that's really interesting. We have a warrior academy. You can click the link down below and to join the warrior academy. Okay. We have, we have a, a cool system, right? We teach crypto. You can see we, we're not, we don't invest people's money. You have access to my portfolio. We have cryptocurrency calls, but listen to this. We have a thing called a 120 day challenge that helps you get your shit together. Okay. Do you realize the people who are most successful in our program are only the people that go through the 120 day challenge? They go through the 120 dollars. You're like, holy shit, my whole life has changed. You know what it teaches you? Subconscious mind programming, goal setting, vision board creation. And it makes you self-reflect on a daily basis instead of blaming the government, blaming the left, blaming. The... I don't care if you take the V. If you take it and you feel great, okay, you take the V, you still get the C, whatever. I don't care. I still love you. I don't care if you wear a mask. If you want to wear a mask and breathe CO2 in your body, that's your choice. I'm not going to judge you for that. If you want to push CO2 back in your body, that's fine. When I see people train in the gym, I'm like, I feel bad for them because they're putting CO2 in their body, but that's their choice. Their body, I don't judge them. I'd still hang out with them. I'd break bread with them if they weren't a shitty person. So do you see what I'm saying, Warriors? I spent a little bit of time sitting under a tree not too long ago. I just sat there and I'm like, God, what, what do you want from me? Like, what are my intentions? My intentions are to free as many human beings as possible. That's my number one intention. That's it. That's what I'm going to die doing, freeing so many. We've helped over 3,000 people the last three years now. And I plan on helping millions. And I plan on being one of those people, just like Jesus, just like Buddha, just like Muhammad, these amazing human beings who came and rose into a higher consciousness and didn't blame other people. I plan on being written about in history books. That sounds bold, doesn't it? Well, that's what I believe. So what do you believe, warriors? Because what you're believing is your truth. So it's time to get our shit together. That's what it's all about, warriors. That's all this YouTube channel is about. That's all my TikToks are about. That's all my Instagram is about. I'm getting my shit together. I want to help as many people as possible get their shit together. Not following me, becoming the true version of you. So remember, you have a different fingerprint, a different DNA, and it's time to get our shit together. Emergency message. Time to activate now. Warriors, rise. Geist, let's go.